On today's menu, a fresh recipe that will put the zest back into home cooking. A delicious orange sesame, tofu. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmancooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. This recipe is really simple to make, really delicious, and it's one of the new recipes found in the brand new third cookbook, which I'll mention a little bit. As always, let's get started with the recipe first. Preheat the oven to 400. Pad dry 350 grams of extra firm tofu. Slice the tofu into bite-sized cubes. Transfer the tofu to a mixing bowl. Two tablespoons avocado oil. Toss to coat. Transfer the tofu onto a baking tray lined with parchment paper. Spray out the tofu so it doesn't overcrowd the pan. Bake in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Right, so for this episode, we're gonna use some freshly squeezed orange juice, but of course you can use store-bought orange juice if you already have that on hand. You can start this step about 15 minutes or so before the tofu is done. Juice two to three oranges, enough for one cup of orange juice. Keep in mind, depending on how much juice the oranges actually yield, you may need to add another orange. Transfer the orange juice into a small saucepan. Add in some orange zest. Grate one garlic. Grate a small piece ginger. Half teaspoon cayenne pepper. One tablespoon cane sugar. Quarter teaspoon turmeric. Half teaspoon toasted sesame oil. Medium heat. Cook for two to three minutes. This episode is a bit of a companion video to one of the new recipes found in the brand new third cookbook simply titled Young Men Cooking. This new cookbook is a continuation of the previous books and has a lot of the favorite recipes from the cooking show here on YouTube, like the popular garlic chili oil knife pear noodles. It also has a collection of new recipes not yet filmed for the show, and just like the previous two books, there's an image that accompanies every single recipe. For more information about this book, take a sneak peek inside, or to grab your copy, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Now, let's finish making that amazing sauce. Make a slurry by combining half a teaspoon of potato starch with one teaspoon water and one teaspoon soy sauce. Slowly pour in the slurry while stirring. Cook for another one to two minutes and the sauce will start to thicken.
If the sauce doesn't reach your desired consistency, simply add a little bit more slurry. Man, these guys are incredibly crispy. Now it's completely up to you if you want to toss the tofu in the sauce or plate the tofu and pour some sauce on top. Completely your choice. Plate. Sauce. Sprinkle over some black sesame seeds and white sesame seeds. You can now enjoy this flavor-packed side dish with absolute confidence. That looks absolutely splendid. Man, that is so incredibly packed with flavor. Just with that first bite, you are welcomed with this wonderful play on flavors and textures. You get that slightly crispiness of the outer layer on that tofu, but it's smothered with this warm, thick, rich, delicious sauce. It has that saltiness and the umami from the soy sauce, the beautiful, fresh sweetness from the freshly squeezed orange juice. And it's intertwined with that amazing aromatic toasted sesame oil. The orange juice also adds this acidity, almost this tanginess, but it contrasts with that little bit of spicy kick from the cayenne pepper. That little bit of turmeric just accentuates that beautiful golden color. It seems like such a simple dish and yet it has this complex kind of dynamic layer of sweetness and saltiness. That sauce is visually just stunning and you get this nice kind of sticky consistency. Definitely one of those easy simple meals that you can enjoy with a bowl of freshly steamed rice and you're good to go. Like I always say, it's simple recipes like this that is just so easy to put together and yet is so exciting to cook at home. If you love easy and delicious recipes like that, then definitely check out that brand new third cookbook or to grab your copy of the other two cookbooks as well, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check them all out. And as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.